In this screencast I'll show you how to calculate fugacity coefficients for a non-associating system using PC SAFT. So as we've seen in previous videos we've got information about the components and this includes the SAFT parameters that have been looked up from the literature. We've got some constants, we've got information about the system itself in terms of temperature, packing fraction and the like. We've also got the binary interaction parameters and in order to calculate the, uh, by the fugacity coefficient we need these equations here. So this is equation A32 and A33 from reference 1 and by using the, the combination of these two equations we can calculate fugacity coefficients. But what they rely on and what we need to do first is to get the partial derivative of the reduced residual Helmholtz free energy with respect to mole fraction for each component. So if we come over here for component 1 we slightly vary the mole fraction whilst keeping everything else the same. We then calculate the reduced residual Helmholtz free energy using the PC SAFT A custom function. We then implement this equation here for numerical differentiation and then that gives us the partial derivative of the Helmholtz free energy with respect to the mole fraction of component 1. We then repeat this for component 2 and for component 3. We're then able to use these values to work out the fugacity coefficients. We also need within this the value of a tilde res, the compressibility factor, and I've also just uh, calculated the pressure here, although that's not needed in these calculations. So um, this Excel formula then implements these equations shown here and gives us the fugacity coefficient for each of the components. So I will include a link to this spreadsheet in the video description so you can take a look for yourself in more detail. But that's been a short screencast showing how to calculate fugacity coefficients for a non-associating system using PC-SAFT.